Make your person stop everything and commit to you now. Do you desire a committed relationship? Maybe you want to be in an official relationship with your person. Maybe you desire to live together. You want to get engaged. You want to get married. You want your dream wedding. In this video, I show you exactly how to manifest commitment from your person. Now this can be anyone under any circumstances. It can be someone you're currently dating. Maybe someone you only went out on one date with that ghosted you afterwards. It could be someone that blocked you, broke up with you. It can be pretty much anyone, a friends with benefits situation, someone that said they would never commit to you, never get married again, basically anyone. But the trick to making it work is to set these circumstances aside and instead saturate your consciousness with feelings of that of which you want, not that of which is frustrating you, and basically to focus on the solution, not the problem. Because circumstances don't matter. You manifested where you are at right now so you can manifest the solution. Because this person really can stop everything they're doing right now and commit to you, beg to be with you, become utterly obsessed with you, totally in love, madly in love, head over heels. This person can become so addicted to you that they will do just about anything for you. And this is why it can work even if they said that they are not the marrying kind, that they will never live with you, that they don't want an official relationship. It can work under any circumstances because you have the power within you to manifest any result you want. But you have to take the proper steps to actually get results. Right now you might feel extremely powerless, almost helpless, at their mercy like they hold all of this power over you whether or not they will be with you whether or not they will commit to you but the great secret is you actually hold all of the power because you are the conscious entity of your experience you are the awareness you are the one who's manifesting so this other person or the circumstances involved actually have little to no power over you you hold all of the power the idea that the circumstances are the most powerful thing in your world is merely an illusion because you are manifesting everything all of the experiences in your 3D come from you. They stem from within you. Change what is within you and the results will have to change. There's no way that they cannot change. Because the 3D is merely an extension of you. Change you and the rest of the world will change accordingly, including your relationship with this person and their ability to be committed to you. So it's time to prepare the way for this chapter in your life to begin. You have to start seeing yourself as the person who is committed, as the wife, as the husband, as the ideal partner. You have to see yourself as this first because what you identify as is what your experiences are going to be. It's how the people in your world are going to treat you and respond to you because they're acting like a mirror to what is within you. So if you see yourself as the ideal partner, you will in fact attract results, attract circumstances that are in harmony with this idea. So if you transform from within, this person will respond to you in a new way. If you become the person who has this level of commitment, this level of devotion, then they have to show it to you. You become a magnetic match for these experiences. But you have to identify as the person who's married who has this commitment, who is their one and only, who is chosen, who is first, who is best, who is the only. And if you do not see yourself in this way, then life is going to continue to show you circumstances that are in harmony with how you do identify as. And if you identify as the person who is without, who is in scarcity, who is in lack, who is in disharmony, then all of your interactions with this person will reflect that outcome. Once you shift your self-concept to align with the results that you actually want, you will be unstoppable. This person will do a complete 180. I've seen it before in my own life. I've transformed all of my relationships for the better because I was someone who was always rejected. I never got the commitment. And then I discovered just how easy it was to get the commitment. In fact, to get the commitment from someone who had previously rejected me because I changed what was within me. So when you do this, you will become unstoppable because when you shift your self-concept, it will be so obvious why of course they're going to commit to you because it's the only thing you could possibly experience. You possess the power within you to manifest just about anything in your life. All possibilities, all experiences are available to you. It's like choosing from a catalog 
what do you want to experience with this person? It doesn't matter if they've ghosted you. It doesn't matter if they blocked you. It doesn't matter if you had the worst breakup of all time. Trust me, I've heard it all. I've seen it all. And I've seen people get back together under circumstances that you would have thought were impossible. So trust me, your situation is not that bad. It doesn't matter if you were ghosted, blocked, if there's a third party involved. None of this matters. But you have to start saturating your consciousness, saturating your subconscious mind, impressing upon it the experiences that you actually want. And you have to see yourself identify as the thing you seek. So you have to become the result first. You have to exist as the person who is adored, loved, worshipped, chosen. This is how you have to see yourself and talk to yourself as if this was happening right now. You cannot wait to feel this way until life shows you that it's possible. You have to feel this way first and then life will change. Whatever happened in the past, it has no bearing over the future. The past is in the past. The future is written from the now. So what do you choose to focus on right now? What do you choose to see yourself as? Are you the sad victim that's been dumped for the 10th time, that's been ghosted, that is forever alone and single? Or do you see yourself as a person who is getting married this year? It's time to ditch the old self-concept of frustration, of despair, of lack. And it's time to start embracing the new self-concept where you are loved, adored, worshipped committed to. Your subconscious mind has to get on board with these ideas because whatever your subconscious soaks up, it's going to enact as your reality. So it's up to you to impress a new result upon it. If you've been getting results you do not like, it's because you've been impressing all of the wrong things into your subconscious mind. But I have a self-hypnosis meditation that I'm about to walk you through. I'm basically going to do the work for you. All of this self-concept work, I'm going to be guiding you through it. Feel free to listen to it as many times as you like. I know it will bring you results. And make sure you actually want the commitment from this person because it does work scary fast and you will in fact get what you want. So proceed with caution. Now, Neville Goddard said that everyone and everything is yourself pushed out. So if you want this person to commit to you, you become that from within and what will be pushed out is you experiencing that level of commitment, that level of devotion and those extreme changes within your love relationship. This is all law of attraction, law of assumption, all things manifestation. It works. Try it out. Keep an open mind and heart and you'll be shocked at the results you get. But before we begin, I do want to remind you that I still have some spots open for my Dream Relationship Masterclass program, and that is all about self-concept and becoming the person who has the dream relationship. Now, you may even qualify for a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me, so do not hesitate. The link is below or head on over to studywithveronica.com. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss a single video on how to transform your love life for the better, your life in general, get all of that money, success, everything you could possibly want and more. I've done it in my own life and I can't wait to help you transform yours. Let's embark on a powerful self-hypnosis meditation that I designed to deepen the commitment in your relationship by reshaping your subconscious beliefs. This self-hypnosis is so powerful. So make sure that you listen with an open mind and heart and allow yourself to soak up the good feelings. Because when you practice this self-hypnosis meditation, it will fundamentally alter the way you think, the way you interact, thereby completely transforming your love relationship into one that is marked by deeper commitment and mutual dedication. Now before you begin, it would be best to find a quiet space where you can be uninterrupted and just be at one with the words. It's best to relax without any distractions but if you would rather listen to this at another time during the day, that's perfectly fine too. In fact, you can even vary it up and listen to it several times throughout the day. Just make sure you don't get addicted to needing to listen to this. This self-hypnosis is so powerful 
that it does not need to be listened to in total repetition in order to make it effective. In fact, it can be effective with just one listen. But use your own judgment as to how often you listen to it. Use it to raise your vibe and use it to guide you to success. It's best to turn off your phone at this time. I want you to feel safe and at peace as you listen to these words. Close your eyes if it makes you feel good. Either way, I want you to take a few deep cleansing breaths. Inhale slowly, allowing your lungs to fill completely with that beautiful air that gives you life, that allows you to breathe. And then I want you to gently exhale through your mouth and release any tension or stress, all the circumstances, all the things that have been getting in the way of your success. So with each breath, you're going to inhale success and you're going to let go of everything that frustrates you, all of that hurt, all of that longing. And as you do this, feel as your body relaxes more and more deeply into a meditative state where you feel completely at one with the God within you. You let go of all of the worries in this moment. You focus solely on that love energy within you. Connect to your heart and through gratitude for this commitment, for this relationship. Now, once you feel ready, I'm going to begin to introduce new empowering beliefs to you about commitment. As I say them, your subconscious will soak them up like a sponge. Feel free to say them along with me or just listen. Either way, it works. I am worthy of a committed, loving relationship that fulfills me in every possible way. Every day, my person and I grow more and more devoted to our shared future. We act as a team together. We want all of the same things, envision the same type of future, and are on the same page, and it feels so good. I embody qualities that inspire loyalty and total dedication from my person. They love to go above and beyond to respect me and to please me. Commitment comes naturally to my relationship. It strengthens our bond every single day. My person is completely devoted to me and only has eyes for me. My person and I talk openly. We communicate our feelings. We are always building trust and deepening our commitment continuously. Our relationship is of a top priority. We both equally invest time and effort to nurture it and to allow it to flourish. We love to support one another's individual growth. This strengthens our commitment and our bond to one another. Together, my person and I build a future based on mutual respect, love, and unwavering commitment. Now, as you listen to these words, I want you to let them connect to your heart. Let these statements touch you and imagine beautiful imagery as I say these words. Think of scenes where you and your person are enjoying moments of deep connection together. Maybe you're talking about the future, excited about what is to come. You support one another on a daily basis. You share in activities that make you both happy. This reinforces your commitment and dedication to one another. Now, as you listen to these affirmations, I want you to imagine them being soaked up by your subconscious 
and permanently taking their place there. But not just in your mind, but the second your subconscious picks it up, it begins to enact the necessary steps to bring it into reality. So make sure to connect with the emotions that these statements bring, the happiness of shared plans, the security, the safety of being supported as a team, the peace, the satiation that comes from knowing you are in a committed relationship where you both are 100% devoted to one another, all in, want to spend every single moment as a team, live together, married to one another. Now, when you feel ready, I want you to slowly bring your awareness back to the present moment. But instead of allowing this moment to feel jarring, I want you to feel the shift has taken place, it has taken root. Now take a few deep breaths, and as you exhale this time, I want you to feel that gratitude for the love and commitment that are growing in your life, that are taking form right now. Because the second you impress something on your subconscious mind, the entire universe goes to work to, in fact, bring about that conclusion. People events, circumstances, all change to fit that new vision. When you are ready, I want you to open your eyes, feel the safety of this moment. Again, it has changed. Reflect on these feelings of having this commitment. The images that came up during the meditation are premonitions. They are visions and images of the future. They are your destiny. Carry these positive, beautiful energies of commitment with you throughout your day. See yourself as the committed partner already. This will reinforce your belief in the experiences that you are manifesting. Now, I want to stress that this self-hypnosis is not just about hoping or merely wishing for things to happen. It is about solidifying the state within you, feeling the shift happen, feeling it take root, because it has to happen within yourself first. And then the world around you will change to fit that mold. So consistently align your subconscious with this vision, with this idea, with these desires. And you will, in fact, easily manifest the profound committed love that you seek. And so it is. Amen. Now make sure you check out this other video here about how to get someone to beg to be with you, to worship the ground you walk on. Check out this other self-hypnosis video. I know it will blow your mind and you can check out the results that people are already getting in the comments below. Head on over here now. Run, don't walk.